All right, we're tying on intruder wire here. <clears throat> we are going to use Sanyo's intruder wire. There are many different um, kind of hook connections for articulated flies, but I'm, I'm just going to be straight with you. The Sanyo's is the best stuff. So the first thing I did is I just cut a piece of intruder wire that was going to be appropriate for the fly size. So, you know, everybody has an idea as to what, how far the fly needs to hang back. I think you basically just barely need to be able to put the hook on. Um, I'm using a size one owner, SSW. And so, and the best way to do it is to go ahead and throw, throw the hook on. Um, <clears throat> String the, string the intruder wire through it, pull the hook through nice and evenly with the intruder wire. And um, you can see it's basically even here. That way you have, a, you have a really good idea as to where your hook's gonna set. So, um, there's basically two different ways to do this. Well. There's more than that, but two for, for my purposes here. <clears throat> Number one, I want to know if I'm going to be using dumbbells or not. Um, in this case, I, this fly will have dumbbell eyes. I've been really into these dumbbell eyes that have a, you know, that are pointed, creased in the middle, and I will be putting them on the bottom. So I will be putting the, in this case, I'll be putting the intruder wire on the top, on the top of the fly, okay, with hook pointing up, and that way I can kind of, you know, halfway keep out of uh, my hook getting caught up on stuff. The other way to do it, if you're using flat dumbbell eyes where there's a flat space in the middle, it's really nice to put the intruder wire on each side of the hook, because what that does is it builds a really nice platform for the dumbbell eyes to set on. So um, that's, that's the two ways to do it. For this purpose today, I'm going to be putting the intruder wire directly on top. So we'll start with our thread, 50 denier vivis, as we always use, um, comes in white and black, which is really, really quite handy. So we'll throw that on there and kind of just go down to the back of the fly. And I'm going to put my wire directly on top. And, and I would encourage you to be quite anal about this. It's nice to have the hook in there right now because you can see how that's going to ride and um, you don't want any, you don't want that thing to turn around it. So a few light, um, a few light-ish wraps, and then you can kind of start grinding away and try to get that thread, whatever thread you're using, to kind of bite really into that outer, um, layer of the wire. They, they put a coating on the wire which is really nice because and it doesn't cut up your stuff and just go slow and keep you can see my fingers kind of hitting it up against it because the, the wire wants to travel this way while wrapping just kind of hit it up against it so it stays right on top and you notice I don't I just put the intruder wire, a lot of people are surprised that I do this, but I just put the intruder wire directly on. I don't loop it back or anything like that. What I believe in is just simply doing a good job of wrapping the intruder wire onto the, sh onto the hook shank. In this case, just the shank. Really good wraps, um, especially with this thread because I can just bite down onto it. 
and if my goal is to keep a slim body this this uh, thread does a really good job of that as well so just put it on there make sure you like where your hooks at I know I can tell just from experience that there's plenty of room if I needed to change my hook out I can do that um, you don't want too much room you want to be able to basically barely get your hook off in my opinion I, I mean the thing is the longer this section is here uh, between the shank and where your hooks connected the longer that is the more chance you have to kind of foil this so <clears throat> you want to be able to you want that thing to be right and true and straight so you know I know that there's that whole system out there where you where you throw the the rubber um, cylindrical piece over and connect it to the back of the hook um, it's either rubber or plastic I'm not sure which but anyhow uh, I you know I'm, I know there's some great thought behind that but I just I don't want stuff that floats on my fly for where we fish just is not appropriate so that's how you tie it on right there simple as that um, we're going to be going up and down this shank and so it'll just secure it that much more but I can I can tell you right now if I tried as hard as I could and I'm trying very very hard right now I could not pull that out so I don't worry about that if you want to double it over go ahead the other option is just to put a quick little you know dab of super glue on it that works too and and uh, that that will secure it that much more I typically don't do that but I got the super glue sitting right here so why not just for demonstration purposes but there you go that's how it's done